millions of followers. He is a social media star. He's a farmer. He's a comedian. I'm talking about one of our favorite new humans on the planet. Well, he's not new. He's been on the planet for a while, but he's new to us. We're talking about TikTok star Matt Matthews. Look at look at this. Hello, everybody. Good morning. We're not starting this this early. My little grandbaby is going to freeze to death. You better lay your little ass on her. Good morning. Good morning. Rise and shine. Go on, Retta. Go. Go. There's your baby. She's going to freeze to death. Go get her. <laughs> Audience. Audience, give it up for Matt Matthews, everyone. Hi, Matt. Hey, thanks for having me. How you doing, Matt? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. To, I'm glad to finally see you. I'm glad the Wi-Fi worked. Oh. Now, why did look, I change it? Look, I know I got country internet, but I ain't never had this kind of problem before. <laughs> what? what in the hell? I know. Well, Matt, before it freezes up again, let me get one normal question out. How did this start? Did you just go out to the coop one day with, with, with your phone and post it and boom, it grew from there? How did this start? Um, pretty much. Yeah. I just started literally posting what I was doing and it blew up and people liked it, so I kept doing it. I, I always talk about the moment, uh, whether it's someone wins you know, a big prize or they get a big role, like the cast of Friends, like the moment you knew it was big. Matt, was there a moment for you, whether it was maybe follower count or something went viral and you got notifications, when did you know that it had exploded? I don't think I still realize it has exploded. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just out here living my life and uh, it has just, it has really popped off in a way that I never expected it to. So I'm just, I'm riding the wave and, uh, you know, people just said it made them feel good. It made them laugh. And um, I became a dark, uh, I became a light in a dark place for a lot of people. So that's why I kept doing it. Yeah, uh, a lot of people, audience, 3 million plus followers on TikTok. And, they, and I love it. Yeah, I hate the term humble beginnings, but you're just a normal person. Like you grew up in Alabama, right, Matt? Yeah, I actually grew up in the projects, uh, real poor, no money. Uh, you know, we was we was balling on a budget, and um, <laughs> then I, you know, determined to make things different for my life. And I worked really hard to build an incredible business for myself, and um, making people laugh, and then growing a business on on so or growing a presence on social media, and it's just kind of grown even more from there. I know. I I I said in your intro before we got disconnected before. Some influencers, and I'm sure you might feel the same way, drive me nuts because there's no, there's, there's no there there. But I admire you so much because you turned the joy that you brought to so many people into a viable and thriving business. I mean, hello, you're on the road now. I, I want to talk about that. You're going to be here and, uh, you know, we're in Seattle and Chicago. You're going to be all over the place. What, what was that first day on stage like, being a stand-up? I mean... You know, it's nothing but you, a light, and a mic, and you're looking out into the, in shadows of people. What was that night like? Oh, I was terrified. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Like, what if people don't <laughs> like me? I might mess this up. Um, but, you know, it actually was one of the most natural things that I've ever done, um, just being myself and telling my stories. I'm not a, I'm not a typical stand-up comedian by any means. I don't just tell jokes. I tell uh, my stories and I tell my life and the trauma and the, you know, the tragic things that I've been through and it resonates and it connects with my audience. And so thankfully my trauma gets to be their laughter. Yeah. Well, and I was going to say, one of the things I also connect with you, I always told friends uh, that if I ever write a book or if I ever do kind of a one guy show, I mean, hello, this is a talk show, but I would call mine gay in Indiana because I always thought there was nothing worse than being gay in Indiana, but you were gay in Alabama. So I don't know, maybe. So I, it's maybe not a I was gay in the projects. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I mean, Matt, can we Matt you had one more, you had one more comma than I did. <laughs> like, can we pick a struggle? 
Holy. <laughs> is it, is being gay in Alabama what I think being gay in Alabama is like? Um, yes and no. My mama taught me at an early age that these hands are rated E for everyone. Um, so I was always ready to throw down. So, you know, you couldn't be this fabulous <laughs> living in the projects without knowing how to swing on a hoe. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Why I I really needed you in Indiana, Matt. I just I really we could have been real good friends. <laughs> you, you gotta you gotta be ready at all times. Yeah. Oh God. Okay. Finally, uh, one of the uh, I don't want to call them plot lines, but one of the through lines of all your videos, and it's our favorite, our crew's favorite, is the rival rivalry between goats and chickens. Do, it, what, what is it with the goats, Matt, that you just, you can't stand the goats? I hate them damn goats. <laughs> <laughs> they are nasty. And the billy goats pee in their beard. <laughs> wait, wait, they, they, wait they, pee, they pee in their beard? Yes. They literally urinate on their face. <laughs> God. How Can many? you imagine what that smells like? And they always get out. Oh my, I hate them. <laughs> how many, Matt, how many do you have now? Like eight. Oh God. <laughs> you have eight? There they are right and there. Not, not on my own. The, the goats are my husband's. I don't, I don't deal with the goats. You see, it's just always a mess with them. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Are they smart creatures, Matt? Are they, they don't know. <laughs> The, <laughs> are the chickens, because I, I didn't think chickens were that smart. I, it looks like the chickens are a little smarter than the goats. Mm, not by much. <laughs> <laughs> if you, oh God. Okay, yeah, here locally, and my mother is gonna have a heart attack because she lives very close. You're gonna be at the AIM Center in Burnsville. Are you getting more comfortable, Matt, as the tour goes on? Oh, absolutely. I, look, I'll be up there shaking my titties. I am here for it. Like, I am just up there living my best life. I don't know what I'm going to say when I get up there. I don't know what I'm about to do. I'm just up there living it. And oh, God. so far, they love it. Oh, Matt, please, Matt, please, not that you did, but please come back on whenever, my friend, please. Yeah. And we'll see you. We'll, we'll see you later this summer. Give it up, everybody, for Matt Matthews. My God. I think, I think in eight seasons, that's the first time anyone ever said, shake your, mm, yeah. There we go. MattMatthews.com. We'll be right back, back in a moment. Oh, my God.